What is up gang? It's a beautiful Sunday morning and I don't think I'm going to be doing any fishing today because there's severe thunderstorm warning coming through but three days ago Thursday morning Christian hit me up for a little top water action and I had minimal sleep, was coaching CrossFit like the 5 and 6 a.m. classes and said you know what screw it when I'm done here let's go hop over to this pond. He's been saying it's on fire. Let's hit a little bit of this top water and try a couple other things and lo and behold it was killer. But yeah guys the footage is pretty sick. The catches are killer. We both get on them and uh, Devin and I are about to go grab brunch so I'm going to wrap this intro up and roll the footage. Hey yo, what's up gang? 7.49 in the morning on a Thursday. Meeting Christian over here at the golf course pond off of Custer. And um, don't know what to take. Top water, that's been talked about. Definitely want it. Jig, gotta have it. Spinner bait, in case they want something a little slower. Where's that Texas rig? I got a Texas rig over here. Oh yeah. We'll see what happens, man. Looks like we got some folks teeing off as well as the lawn care person rolling over here so hopefully we don't get kicked out i know how you been working yeah, yeah. hustling yeah i work like 70 hours a week now dude yeah. fish it from this side or do you walk over there surely this side right yeah, yeah. And it's a good ass rock that real oh nice on the buzz bait, Christian got one right off the bat. All the way back. Yep. <laughs> well, we're about to see what happens. Here we go, dude. Yep, that's him. Solid one, dude. I knew that was it. Whopper plopper cranking them. Oh! <laughs> I'd say maybe three. Right here on the bank of the golf course pond off Custer, baby. We making it happen. Come on. Okay. Already gone. I didn't even see it split. Shoo! Yeah, I'm gonna try man. I'm gonna try this because I remember last time we were here we had luck on this. Oh yeah. Which that doesn't was the winter, though. it was it was a while ago. Yeah. And then, um, Let's see the other corner, top water, Dude, this could mm, could be getting it. I'll take a good bite, that's for sure. Oh, oh oh he just did you see that? Did you see that? Dude he just whipped at it right here. That was sick. He missed it. I should have had that guy. I wonder if I should. Oh, I should probably throw something different. Shit. So he swiped at it, but it looked like he came from the side. It, it's tough to say. Okay. <laughs> Don't talk about it. Be about it, Daniel. Daniel's son. Ooh. You gotta switch. <laughs> Dude, that was a jump. Second fish in the morning, ladies and gents. This one came on the dang. Might have been a turtle. Black and blue, right? Yeah. Christian just broke off on uh, <laughs> what he thinks could have potentially been a turtle. He had a solid hook set, and the line just said, screw you. We just nailed that second one of the day, and as I was releasing it, the GoPro battery died. And Bass Forecast said like a six rating, like a fair rating, like nothing crazy, but it's on point right now, it seems. Wake me up before you go, girl. Oh, shh. That's exactly where I cast Dude, dink, dink, dink. Like, it's like, boink, boink, boink. Yo, you want to rush over there with me and try topwater real fast? Before you even retie, there's no one here. I think we should, like, make a run for it. All right. We're sprinting over to the far side while no one's golfing over here. And we're going to try and snag one off this uh, side. Normally, I would say most people don't fish, but we for sure never fish and I'm thinking we can put something together right here. Throw the jig again for a second. That's three. <laughs> Christian's literally watching the Instagram story of the last catch I just posted, and here comes this guy on the jig again. Fish number three. Drum. Oh yes, dude. Wow. Back to back to back. Number four. 
Oh, that's that's good. I throw the Kraken Craw in that. You got Bandito bugs in that. Wow. I would burn through those, dude. I would use them on everything. Texas rig, chatterbait, jig, short net. Like I would. Oh shoot! I just spooked one. <laughs> That's enough for me. Got him. Oh shit. 30 pound braid. Come on. Hallelujah. Number four. Right at the tee off. Homie could care less. He's like, I hope they get hit with a golf ball. The guy on the mowing the yard. Maintenance. But so far the bite's pretty good. <laughs> Bryce, where are you at? <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta go get that rod. He's about to run it over. All right, guys, so I knocked that trailer off and figured I'd go grab some more stuff. I went over and got a couple more rods for this backside. Uh, about to throw that spinner bait in here for a couple casts. Nope. Oh, I think he. Oh, I still got him. Oh, dude, that's nice. That's nice. He's a nice one. Oh, he's kind of nice. Nah, he's, he's good, but he's, no, he's not great. For this pond, I'll take it. Dude, he has been caught. Look at them holes right there. This sucker's gone after, oh, he's gone after a jig or two. <laughs> yeah, people have been telling me I got weak hook sets. <laughs> and I'm over here watching Lunker's TV. I'm like, dude, I gotta get with the program. Yeah. Boom. All right, let's get you back. I'm gonna throw you here because I want to cast over there. Not spook anything. And the bite's on. We're gonna throw the spinner bait. Watch this. I'm about to tag. I'm about to tag a giant. Going by him. Oh my god. Oh, it was going by the fry. Just no stir crazy. I'm about to break out the secret weapon. We'll just call that a, a fat negative. Let me just. You gotta at least look. The answer is nothing. The answer is 100% nothing. Okay, we tried. We glanced at that little creek, but that's all about it. it. Took for us to know that there's no fish or water in there, really. Oh, perfect. Oh, not perfect. Oh, yeah. Except for when they snap. Oh, Jesus! Did you see that? Whoa! Did you see the way it yanked the rod down, dude? Oh, my. That could have been a giant. That was nuts. No, no, like I had it in there for just a second. But that's the second hit I've got right along this grass here. I don't know if I've ever had a hit like that where the rod just straight up went horizontal to the water. I was not prepared. Yeah, I got a busy day. All right, I'll see yeah, you when I see yeah, you. Deal. Got him. There we go. Come on. Get on up here. There we go. Mondo worm pulling through, top of the mouth. On a good one. Two and a half. Okay, that was on the June bug Mondo worm. If I'm not mistaken, this color is June bug. Purplish. So I'm just gonna keep on chunking it. I'm thinking if I get right in that grass line again, I'll definitely be able to nail them. I would throw a Mondo worm on a 4 aught worm hook. This is a 2 aught but it's kind of getting the job done, so I can't really say much, huh? Got him. Another solid one on the Mondo worm. That's number seven. All good fish out of this place. So awesome. Where's that hook at? Right in the top of the mouth. Doink. Tough one to get free, buddy. I'm gonna let you go, don't worry. Get on in there. All right, y'all, I'm about done, but let me get a couple more casts with the 
with the jig. All right, we better split. It's getting a little warm. I gotta get some sleep. I had two hours of sleep. I don't know if I mentioned that. Seven ought to get it done, guys. It's 9.48 in the morning. I think that means I was here for somewhere around two hours. Two hours sleep, because on Wednesdays I valet. Usually get done around 10. Uh, last night was like more like 11. Get home, make some food, all that good stuff. Unwind, doggies, you know the deal. I ended up going to sleep at two. And I set my alarm for four because I coach CrossFit five and six a.m. on Thursdays. And Christian hit me up about midway through the six six a.m. and said he was going to hit this pond. He said he's been having luck on top water out here. That sounded like a good idea. That was our first catch on the Whopper Plopper. Then we got a couple on the jig, maybe a few on the jig. Then we got a couple on the Mondo Worm, maybe a few on the Mondo Worm. Everything today was caught on favorite rods, man. Love these things. You can get them for 20% off with our discount at uh, discount code at checkout. It's Weston 20. If you're talking about something like this big sexy rod right here, that's like $40 off this thing. So it's definitely worth it if you're considering a favorite rod to use our code. And then we got a couple defenders here. One's that limited edition green one, Lunkers TV edition, and the other's the regular defender that we caught most of the fish on today. That's the 7.3 medium heavy. And that's that, ladies and gents. That's going to conclude the vlog. Sorry we didn't have the big camera intro. There's just no SD card in there. So all GoPro on today's vlog. Just so you guys know, you guys can do this stuff yourself. Just get a grab a GoPro and a chest mount and have some fun, man. Film your catches. It's uh, it's not that bad. But yeah, you guys, everything was literally on the GoPro today, and I have a mic, but you don't even have to get a mic. Like, a lot of the Googans use the Hero 4s, and, and now they don't. They, they don't even use mics. The Googans don't even fiddle with mics. I do, and it's a pain in the butt. It gets better audio, and, but the thing is, you don't necessarily need it. So with that being said, just get any GoPro, like four, five, six, seven, that doesn't matter. Grab a chest mount, you can get them aftermarket, but the GoPro one I think has, it's a little bit better and sturdier for 40 bucks. And then literally make your, make your vlogs, man. I mean, I edit everything on my iPhone since the first fishing vlog. I've edited every vlog on my iPhone. You can like see previous edits. You just see the San Diego edit that we put up a little while ago. Um, and so like, I just get all the editing done on my iPhone. I transfer the clips to my iPhone using this right here. I got a bunch of SD cards in here. Yeah, so the the memory cards that go into the GoPro, I just buy 128s. That gets about four hours worth of uh, 4K footage. So I buy those 128s, and then a lot of times memory cards are coming with the adapters these days, so you don't even have to worry about it. You'll get these. And then uh, yeah, I just plug it into here. This is the Apple Lightning to SD card reader. I plug that into my iPhone, and literally it starts to import the files. And then I just open it up in iMovie and edit it, and that's how I put these things together. Hope you guys got something from this video. Appreciate it. Grab a favorite rod if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll just catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out. <gasps>